This program is made possible thanks to the generous support from the Ohio Farm Bureau members. For nearly 100 years, Ohio Farm Bureau has been bringing people together. Join us in the journey. Together. Together. Together with farmers. Founded in 1895, W.H. Wildman Spices has a rich history and is committed to producing the finest products. Now owned and operated by Scott Gray and his son Isaac, the company strives to put care and authenticity into every bottle. The Wildman family started the business in 1895 in Norwalk, Ohio. Sometime in the early 70s, the Wildman family sold the business to three engineers out of Wright Pat Air Force Base, and they had the business for approximately five to six years in Dayton, and then we purchased the company from them. Scott's father purchased the company, and in 1977, W.H. Wildman Spices was up and running in New Hampshire, Ohio, where it's still a family-owned business today. Focused on blending, bottling, and labeling the finest spices, seasonings, and extracts. I was brought up in a very tight family. We were dairy farmers until my uncle moved to Florida and bought the Groves, which started Gray's Orange Barn in New Hampshire here. And we've kind of been a small business family ever since. The history behind this particular building dates back to the 20s when an electric train line had come through the area. They built one of these buildings about every 20 miles and it housed generators that powered the train line. Products that we produce range anything from allspice to vanilla beans. We buy our products through importers on the East Coast or growers in California. Very good, clean, quality, fresh products. W.H. Wildman Spices uses only the finest ingredients in their blends, and they come from all over the world. Black pepper from India, cinnamon from Vietnam, and cloves from Indonesia, just to name a few. We have some tremendous blends. The number one thing that we do is a product called Chef's Seasoning, which is an all-purpose seasoning. It's salt-based. We weigh everything out on the scales, all the ingredients, put it in a 75-pound mix, run it through our blender, take it right over to the filling machine, dump it in the filling machine, and we're filling Chef's into five or 18-ounce bottles. The bottling process is all hand work, dumping it into the bottle and capping it on an average day, we'll probably fill somewhere close to a thousand jars of spices a day. That's just a good steady day with two to three employees doing the work. We do soak screen all of the glass here. Um, that's another thing that I think adds value. It's not done in some warehouse, some other place. It's all right here, self-contained. And we use that to honestly maintain the quality of the label because sometimes that silk screening is a little bit difficult if you're not careful. The sequence of packing in order is once we receive the phone call, we have a packing slip that Skyla will take to the back and we have shelving with every item we pack and she will go right down the line and fill the order that the people want. Simply just putting it in a cardboard box and then getting it ready for shipment. We do a lot more blends. I would say somewhere probably 150, 160 different things. A lot of it's trial and error. We don't have like a, a set formula. It's a lot of mixing stuff up, tasting it, starting over. If it's not close enough, um, we do that for anybody who wants an individually unique flavor. We work on that. Isaac is my oldest son, graduated from Bowling Green University, and he returned home to come and work with me here at the Spice Company. And after three years, he pretty well knows all the ins and outs of what it takes to run the business. Growing up, I saw all of the work that dad had put into this place. It wasn't until I was older that I really appreciated all of 
what had gone on in building the business. As far as running a small business in Ohio, it does require a lot of time. You might be here 12 hours, 13, maybe up to 18 hours some days just because the workload requires that. But the benefits of running your own business is the freedom you have as a person. But on the other hand, with that freedom comes a lot of responsibility. We cover 17 different states and we have 150 active accounts that we have set up a full display of our products. Wildman's is a company that's been around for 122 years. And that in itself is unique that we've lasted this long. There's a lot of people that, that can't say they've been in business since 1895. And then on top of that, it's in this little building and we've got products in here from all over the world. People like the small company feel, they recognize our label. The logo is still the same as it was in 1895, so it's people that have grown up with it go back to it. There have been uh, some uh, milestones in my life that had made a huge difference. One wasn't good, it was losing my dad at age 36. At that point, I had a lot on my plate because I was trying to run this business. And at that point, I would say is when a lot of things changed. I chose a path to go back to church and God has been a tremendous part of my life uh, since then. And I have chosen to be a kingdom-driven business. Since then, everything has fallen in place. Almost everything we have done seems to work out better. If you love Our Ohio Television, then you'll enjoy being an Our Ohio supporter. For just $25, you can enjoy Our Ohio Magazine, support Ohio food and farms, and stay connected to what's happening in your community. Visit supportourohio.org 